I will go through the book how many codes. Three. Uh, first of all, that is that is fibrous code tunica fibrosa, which consists of not transparent part that is clearer and transparent part and transparent part anterior part that is cornea. Yes? It is cornea anteriorly, it is clearer. And both of them together, that is fibrous coat, that is tunica fibrosa, fibrous coat of fibrous. Next coat, next coat, what is, what is next? No. Vascular coat, tunica vasculosa. And vascular coat consists of three parts. Haraida, then it, uh, it is iris, and severe body, corpus iris. And uh, third, most inner coat that is retina, and it consists of two parts, pigmental part, part pigmentosa, it supplies all inner surface of eye, and nervous part, part nervosa, it uh, present only posterior half of eye, anteriorly, look here, that is this orange color, that is the border where nervous cells finish. Anteriorly, for example, on posterior surface of iris, there is no narrow cells. Or that is why pars nervosa, nervous part of the time, only in posterior part of eyeball. What else? Uh, retina, retina consists of First of all, it consists of photoreceptors, they are rows and cones. And uh, uh, rows uh, we have in central part of the China, that is yellow spot, that is uh, location of rows only. And cones is on peripheral side of the China. And I think to know that uh, cones, that is uh, vision in white and black, color and rose that is a color vision and uh, bli a blind spot that is a place where optic nerve starts from retina that is why it is photoreceptors are absent somewhat about about chambers of eye eye has two chambers that is anterior and posterior uh, anterior chamber that is a space between iris and cornea and posterior chamber that is a space between lens and iris. In posterior chamber uh, uh, sumor aquosus produced with the help of ciliary processes. Processes ciliaris they are processes which start from ciliary body and they have a lot of vessels and produce a uh, humor aquosus. This fluid is almost the same like cerebrospinal fluid. And uh, from posterior chamber, this fluid goes to anterior chamber through what? Through pupil. And in anterior, ch in anterior chamber, uh, this humor aquosus absorbs into angulus. Uh, Iridocarnealis, that is angle of eye angulus, iridocarnealis, or that is a Schlem channel, or sinus venosus sclerus, sinus venosus sclerus. It absorbs into the venous blood and goes away from eyeball. Uh, what else? Lens. It's joined with ciliary body or ciliary muscle with the help of ligament. Who know what is the name of this ligament? Thin mm -hmm. ligament, thin ligament. That is, uh, in time, uh, now we speak about accommodation. If ciliary muscle contracts, what happens with thin ligament? It relaxes and uh, shape of lens, uh, lens receives more convex shape. If ciliary muscle relax, it expands and thin ligament tends, 
and lens in this case more flat shape. In this case, if lens is flat, we can see in subdistance. If lens is more convex, we can see in short distance. That is accommodation. Uh, possibility to change shape of lens if we see in far or long distance. And uh, now we try to cut eyeball and uh, we try to see what is inside. What is inside. Somebody wants? Somebody wants to do it?